just went over. Yep, you're good. Uh, I'm Jordan DeGroat. I'm the chairman at Fair State. Um, so I talked to Derek Tuesday morning, actually, um, told him that we've been getting some birds around here. Um, and he booked a flight Tuesday afternoon, and here we are Thursday. Um, we're going to be hunting in the morning. I've uh, been scouting all week, uh, seeing a lot of birds in town. Um, the field we're standing in right now had 300 in it last night, and this morning there wasn't a bird. So we ended up finding a field just up the road. It's a cut corn field. It's only 30, 40 acre field, um, but we just left and there's been birds dumping into it all night. So I'm um, hoping for a good hunt in the morning. Yeah, we're on this yeah. Or even sit in that grass. Well, that's what I was saying. Do you want to sit up on that edge and right get right them to pull them in, or do you want to sit right up on this hill while up in the corn? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what there's I want more to coming in too. Yeah. We can try. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna hook up to the trailer real quick. We're gonna head up to the uh, the second farm. Uh, we got a brush and a panel for the morning, um, so should be quick and easy. Powering on. Welcome to oh, All Tech Lansing. So, I mean, tomorrow we're just gonna hunt over. They're the original Dakotas. Um, there's five dozen full bodies in here. Um, we got. Uh, 10 dozen uh, dive bombs probably won't need those in the morning um, and then some sleeper cells up front snow covers um, some mallard decoys um, and then all the blinds are tucked up in the front so probably only going to use the full bodies and one panel in the morning so did you want more up on the top Jordan? So all we're trying to do is we're just adding a layer of grass first and then putting corn over it because in the morning we're hunting a cut silage field and we're going to be standing three rows in with not a lot of edge cover on the corn field so we're trying to have panel break up our bottom half a little bit more and just give us a little bit more cover behind it. We're going to finish this up real quick and we'll see you guys in the morning. probably 40 degrees right now rainy not not raining too hard just steady drizzle so doing our best to kind of stay dry this morning So this morning, uh, Jordan's dealing with decoy spread, and basically we have a semi-strong east wind, so, well, it's coming from the other direction, but ho we're hoping the birds will come over the top of us and spin, and then uh, come land up on the flat on this cut corn. So we've got the panels stuck about three rows in and brushed in nice, so hopefully they have no idea what we're doing. We're just trying to create a some sort of a line or a J, and, kind of block them off from going too far down the hill on us, but hopefully keep our shots in close and make everything easy. So this is the new uh, Lucky Duck spinner. Um, they're calling it the White Down. Um, I don't really do a lot of duck hunting, so when we're hunting, it's more we're focusing on the geese and we'll have ducks flying. So I bought it to see how it's gonna work. I figured this morning's a good time to try it because tomorrow's the opener for our south zone. Um, and we got a couple ducks sitting in that field. So I'm gonna try it this morning and see how they react. If they don't like it, then I know. So when you uh, stop it and click the remote, um, the wings are weighted so that the white's facing down and it's just black. Um, I've seen it before with our spinners where when the wings are spinning, even if they're not spinning, the geese are flaring off of them. For some reason in Michigan, they just don't like the spinners up in the field. So um, hoping maybe this will solve our problems. Um, first hunt this is the first time this thing has seen a field, so. Kill him. Nope. I got it. Evan, you shot my decoy. Sorry. That's like the worst hey, thing you could have done. Skunk is out of the boat. That's a big one, too. That's a big one. <laughs> 
Oh, you're cute right there, boys. Woo, woo, woo. Good Both stuff, boys. Awesome. Double low, guys. Set these off to the side. One of those might be getting saved. Oh, big, big line out there. Yeah. And there's some over our back. Shoot that one! Shoot the one! Track that thing through them, please. Like, get them? No, he's out. Okay. Okay. No, just, he's dead. He got neck hit and he went down like he's dead, dead. Right here, right here, right coming over top. I saw there's a lot of birds going that field. I know. We need to either sit down in there or just not do that. Catch them. Yeah. It's starting to rain though. That might. Yeah, we got to catch them before they see them other birds. Because that's what all these other groups are doing. They're coming over the trees and seeing us and working. But <clears throat> those ones are coming over, seeing the other birds dumping in the other field, and then following. Well, we're sitting at nine for the morning. Um, got eight up here and Lucas is walking back with one. So we're gonna keep her going. The birds are working nice and finishing close. So we'll see if they keep doing it. Quiet, quiet. Kill him. We got into them early. Now we're doing a little bit of bird watching. Uh, there's actually, there's a field right across the road. There's about 400 birds that are going into it. Uh, they've been there all week. Um, yesterday morning, they actually would sit in that field and then sit there for an hour and jump over here. So we're open here in a little bit. They'll start jumping this way, but every bird that works us sees birds going into there and, and leaves us. So we're losing the battle to real birds. So can't complain too much, I guess. <laughs> They might come over our back. Oh, right here, right here. Left side, left side, left side. Kill those. Well, that's oh. half how you shoot, but those two are sailing far. Yeah, Keep an eye on I don't know what that one was doing. He's, He's a cackler, dude. <laughs> He's just chilling out there, man. He just wants some corn. Five feet from him, he wouldn't even move. <laughs> he was just, and all of a sudden he looks right at me. He's like, oh. <laughs> I didn't go. He stared death in the eyes. I didn't go. <laughs> Back left, come over our heads. I got it. They're quiet, so just use the Shooting hasn't been fantastic this morning, but um, had some decent sized groups do it. Just not knocking the amount of birds down that we should be for the uh, shot selection, but it is what it is. So 
hopefully the birds keep flying and we can uh, finish up here shortly. So we're at 14 right now. We need 20 to 20 to be done. So that's the number. So we'll see if that happens. UPS making sure I receive it, man. Jack, oh, hey, UPS driver, two feet here, there, and gone. And, yeah, those are the best yeah. engines ever made. He's got to get them back. <laughs> They're not. They are. You ever hear one of them things try to idle? It's like the, the truck disappears before the engine does. <laughs> Headshot. Oh yeah, look right here. Oh wow. Yeah. We found a horseshoe. So what better thing to do? Then play horseshoes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Overshot just a little bit. Right here's the line. Throw it up. Send her in there. Nothing. Not even what time is it, Phil? Couple after 10. Put her at pert near 10 19. Time to walk to the truck. That's fun. Uh, so we ended the hunt with 14. Um, we had a lot of threes, two singles come in this morning. The big groups, they would work it and then uh, they'd see the birds going into the field across the road and they'd leave us. Um, so a little bit of a struggle, but I mean, we still got 14 birds on the ground, so can't complain about that one bit. We're just going to clean up um, and then head back. We're going to get some breakfast. Uh, if you like the video, drop a like, comment, and subscribe below. We'll see you on the next one.